We are in southwest London. Uh, Clapham North Station is about 100 yards in that direction. Duck under that bit there. We are in a tunnel system that was built for, during the Second World War and we are 100 feet under London. And by the time we get to here, we are now on a level with the underground. We wanted to build a farm that it was essentially carbon neutral and that was where we wanted to start with this project and then we wanted to move through to build a farm in a tunnel system and that's what you see behind us, glowing pink and it is a hydroponic farm that is powered by LEDs and those LEDs are, all, all, all the energy for the LEDs are powered by renewable energy. We always wanted to have a, uh, have a farm within an urban environment to make sure that we cut down on food miles and the distribution to, and, and, and proximity to the markets. We've still got kids in the UK who think that spaghetti is grown on trees. This is a problem that we've got in terms of that disconnect from food. Rich, do you want to start either taking stuff yeah, up I'll go and or take stuff. trying to cut down on those food miles, bring food closer to, to the people that consume it? This is so uninspiring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I don't think we should ever grow it again. If you project into the future 10, 20, 30 years and, and how people will be dining then, people will become more and more and more aware of the environment around us. You get to set this off as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah right. exactly. Well. In London, for example, we're going to have an additional two million people in the next 10 years, and we need to provide for that. So it's about making sure that we, we have a food source that's from a new environment. And so we've got one bench, but when we populate the whole of the tunnel, we'll have a bench on the floor, a bench halfway up, and a bench up here as well. So we'll be growing that. That's the multi-layered system, and that would be each side of this tunnel. So it's about utilising all of the space that we've got down here.